Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is part two of the plush. Facebook, Facebook members share their big money plush bolos, you guys. Part one was so good. You've got to go check it out if you didn't see it. So many big money bolos, things I've never even heard of. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to get started. And what I did is I posted this screenshot in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and the members of the group put a screenshot with the information of where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for in the comments. And now I'm going to read from my computer, pop up screenshots, and share these big money bolos with you guys. So let's get started with the first one. It says, I purchased at a local thrift store. I believe the YouTuber Shell Bell had mentioned this silky 80s plush as being something to watch for. I purchased for $3 and sold within three weeks for $150 plus shipping. It shipped internationally. My original asking price was $225. I took a best offer of $150. So it's a 1986 Commonwealth Jumbo Love Pink Elephant puff -a lump Nylon Plush. So I've also heard these referred to as like parachute material. This was bought for $1.99 from a thrift store. Also had the one with the helmet. Sold on Mercari for just $136. I know I could have got more, just wanted it gone after a while. Both free shipping. This was sold on Etsy on 417 of 20 and... She knows that she could have gotten way more for this. So this is an Amtoy American Greeting My Pet Monster. You guys, these are definitely a bolo. Um, this one had the handcuffs. A lot of times the handcuffs are missing. If you find the handcuffs, you can always sell those separately. So definitely a bolo for these items. This one comes from um, Noelle. Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle is her YouTube channel and she's a bolo finder. And this is the best ever plush sale that she's ever had. I bought this in a bulk buy at an estate sale and it sold overnight, less than six hours for full asking price. It is a Build-A-Bear Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Fun Kitty Halloween Orange Cat Plush. It sold for $349.99. Okay, so there was a TikTok video that went viral with this plush in it. And after that, it kind of went crazy. So she sold this like at the right time. The market has come down some on these, so don't overpay for it if you see one. But um, there was actually a bear. Oh, I just gave it away. But um, it was in a video that Donatella Bottolino, she was doing a YouTube selling event and she was auctioning off plush. And someone told me about the video. I can't remember how I found out about it, but I went and watched and I'm like, that's a bolo. Are you kidding me? One of these was in the lot that she was doing on her selling event. And I will post, this is the screenshot. I did a whole video on it because I'm like, Donna, you should have watched my Build-A-Bear top 10 video. And uh, anyway, I was giving her a hard time because she doesn't look anything up. So um, if you saw in the other video, part one, this item also came in a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. It was... Um, I don't know if it was like a mystery lot. I think she paid 55 for it and I've never seen her do like 55. They're usually 50 um, with free shipping. So if she auctions them off, it was probably an auction. But um, this gal bought this one and I talked about it in part one, but I just had to share it again. It's a Build-A-Bear. I didn't know this one was a Bolo, but look what she sold it for on Mercari. How cool is that? All right, I've already talked about this one before, but I got this from Facebook Marketplace in a bundle of soft toys. Paid for five plush $30. So I paid six for it. She is very sought after collector's item and very rare. Sold, sold for a thousand, and I think this was in Australia. AUD, is that Australia? Um, on auction. So that is US currency $770.15. It's a puppet, you guys. This is what it looks like. It's Princess Sally Acorn Plush Hand Puppet, 1997 Sega World Sonic. Now, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's really cool. 
While doing a bus trip, I often will source. I'm a driver. Found a little guy at Goodwill for 50 cents, sold him five days for $19.99. So this is just a little bread and butter, but 50 cents into 20 bucks is still fantastic. It is a Disney store baby tuk tuk, T U K, plush Raya and the Last Dragon. Found together at Goodwill for 63 cents each, sold in less than two weeks. So a lot of two jelly cat green frogs, fluffy bean bag plush. They're eight inch and it says squiggle. I don't know if squiggle is maybe the name, but these are jelly cat and jelly cat is definitely a great item to look for. They range from bread and butter to big money. These two sold for 50 bucks. Got him for free and sold for $62.50 plus shipping. It's a vintage Furbles Mott Yangi G, Yangi G, or I'm sorry, Yang G. 18 inch green monster hand puppet glowing eyes rare new with tags that's what it looks like never seen one of those bought at the goodwill for 70 cents and sold for a best offer of 140 shout out to the rebel reseller who made me see this as a bolo um the rebel reseller is a bolo buddies member she has an amazing channel she sells plush like a machine you guys like so much plush um but this was one of the items that i believe was in a video that she did. It's an Eden Vintage Pastel Thermal Waffle Weave Teddy Bear Plush Stuffed Animal. And um, this one makes me think of, I was watching, uh, uh, I think it's Suzy Q's Jewelry Party. I may be messing up the YouTube channel, but um, I was watching her video and she bought a plush dog lot from Donatella Bottolino. And this is the same person that I was already telling you about, but this one made me think of that plush. And um, I was watching her video because I'm like curious about these dog lots. So basically what a dog lot is, is it's a bunch of plush that have like blemishes or small defects or like the tags cut off, like the tush tag. And Donatella will not sell those in her plush lots. So she makes dog lots so people can buy them and give them to their pets. I was watching Susie Q's video and I'll pop it up here. And you guys can go check her out as well. But there's a little plush in this video. It's, a, it's not this brand. And it's similar to this. But I was like, I think that might be a bolo. Now, it is dirty and she does have to clean it up. But I think she can probably make some good money on it if she can get it cleaned up. So go watch the video. You guys let me know. Neither one of us have done any research as of yet. Um, I haven't spoke to her since I sent her a little message to look it up. But... Uh, Stay tuned because if it is, I'm going to let you guys know, but um, I don't know if it's going to clean up or not. But anyway, this one that I was talking about sold for $140, this little bear, you guys. So I know the one Suzy Q got um, was from like 1988. So really cool. Bought at an orphanage that has a thrift store that opens for six hours every other Tuesday for 50 cents. I may have listed too low, even though I comped it because it sold instantly. I was shocked. I only grabbed it because it said Briar, very small also. Briar Horse Plush Elvis Collection. It's a little um, plush, $15 plus shipping, and that sold on Mercari. And um, it's a great bread and butter. Got for free at the give and take section of the dump. <laughs> sold in a few days for full asking price of $79.99. What is give and take? Huh. Um, it's a Build-A-Bear workshop. Pokemon. Piplup. Piplup. Blue penguin. No sound. That's what it looks like. Paid $3. Found two. Sold one so far. It is, uh, looks like this was sold in Canada. So this uh, $75. Um, I don't know what that would be for USA currency. I don't know how it. The conversion but it is a rare juniper gamer chad baby allen plush doll stuffed toy 50 cents sold the same day it is a disney store exclusive clarabelle cow and 15 inch plush toy and it's got the little circle on the bottom of the foot as you guys can see definitely look for that paid a dollar for it i don't know where they got it, it just says paid a dollar it's a joy for all. It's an orange tabby cat interactive, interactive companion tested and working. 
anytime I can find like interactive animated things, I usually pick those up. They usually do pretty good. Here's another one, paid a dollar. And again, they did not put where they got it. Um, so you guys, if you do share in the Facebook group, please um, read the original post and make sure you include all the information um, for the video, where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for if you took a best offer. So this is a Clifford the Big Red Dog Pillow Time Pow Giant Plush, uh, 32 inches long, and it sold for $55 and buyer paid shipping. Paid $1.50, and again, same person sharing it, did not include all the information, but I'm still going to share it just because I'm looking at it. Um, it's the Fisher Price Sing Along, or I'm sorry, Sing a Majigs All Working. So you squeeze their bellies and their mouths open and they like go, oh, like that, something like that. I've sold those before. I got this from the free toy bin at a local junk store. I couldn't find any online. Priced for 50, sent an offer for 35 and it sold. Was listed for two days. It's a rare vintage Kellogg's Raisin brand Sun Plush cereal box logo from 1998. Huh, how cool is that? All right, got these at a local thrift store for $2 each. Both sold within a week of two of list, a week or two of listing on Macari. It's a Tinkerbell Legend of the Never, I don't know. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm sorry, I can't see the whole um, the whole title. And then the other says Disney Store Angel Cuddlies. And again, I can't see the whole title, but this is what they look like, you guys. Sorry about that. 99 cents from a local thrift store. Took a while, but sold for $19.99. Lisa Frank Fantastic Beans Beanie Plush from 1998. Wow. Okay. So that says 1998. It's new with tags. It's Lisa Frank. I'm really surprised that that took a while to sell number one and that it wasn't a bolo because typically Lisa Frank goes for really good money. So, hmm. Anybody got any thoughts on this one? Paid $2.99 at Goodwill. Had all tags cut off, including the tush tag. Took about three weeks to sell. She sold it for $50. And this one comes from Double T's Treasure. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Um, what that means is she has joined memberships on my Bolo Buddies channel and you get shout outs and videos like these if you're level two. So if you're interested in joining memberships, there is a link down in the description. If not, no worries. It is just for perks. Otherwise, my channel is completely free. So it's a Squishmallow Bart the Halloween Bat. Okay. This one also comes from Bolo Buddies member, um, the Rebel Reseller. And she picked this up at an estate sale. She said that she cannot remember what she paid for it, but it was probably like around a dollar. And she sold it for a best offer of a hundred. And it is an Amtoy activity doll plush and it rattles. And it's got a mirror and a squeak and it's terry cloth, you guys. So those old terry cloth toys, definitely be on the lookout. Actually, um, the item I was telling you about that Susie Q was in her lot is a terry cloth toy. And this is also from the Rebel Reseller. Got this at a good at the Goodwill bin, so probably paid less than a dollar, and it sold for sixty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. It is an anthropology brown sloth plush. It's a stuffed animal toy. And, you know, I've talked about this in my plush videos and when I do my live listings. When I think about plush, I think plush is like a reseller term. When I think about stuffed animal, I feel like um, that's more of like what I called it when I was a kid. Like I wanted my stuffed animal. So do you guys put plush in your title or do you put stuffed animal? Because I feel like people searching eBay maybe searching stuffed animal and not plush. So I don't know. I'd love your feedback. Let me know in the comments. These are all Disney store, new with tags, 12 inch plush. I got them at a garage sale for $5 for all of them. I sold them December, 2019 on Poshmark for $50. Okay, this one is also from a Bolo Buddies member. This is from Jack's Treasures and they do a ton of storage unit content on their channel. It says, this was a bread and butter for sure, but a plush subcategory I love. Finger puppets always sell fast for me and are so easy to store and ship. 
I agree. I sell finger puppets too. Um, this sold for $17.59 plus shipping. And also, um, these are from, it says Starbucks Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer plush finger puppets. Anything Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I almost always pick it up. And Starbucks items can also be really good money. So a couple things to watch for there. Bought this guy at the Goodwill for $1.25 and sold in less than a week for $40.69. Shadow the Hedgehog Tommy Segasonic Boom Plush. No tag. So I feel like anything like Nintendo or Sega, I think those items do pretty good. So uh, definitely be on the lookout. Okay, this one comes from a rural squirrel and this is a Squishmallow. She is a Bolo Buddies member as well. Here is her YouTube channel. She does a bunch of bins videos. So if you guys like to watch those bins where they dig through the bins and pay per pound, definitely go check her out. And I was just thinking, I really need to get up to the bins. I have not made a video like that in forever and they're super fun. So she said, I got this Squishmallow with the Goodwill bins and they only charge me linen weight pricing for it. So it was 56 cents. I put it on eBay auction and it sold for $70. And it says TikTok famous. So this must have been another one that went viral on TikTok. It's Connor the cow. So um, TikTok is making things trend and then people are, it's inflating the prices of some items. Now, one thing you have to remember is if it's on TikTok and it's trending, the prices may be high now, but they may not be in the future. So always look up comps. That's for anything that you see in these videos. You still have to do your research. Paid a dollar and she was covered in grime. After cleaning her up and learning about some hot topic bolos during research, I listed high and lowered the price after a few months. Customer was very pleased, especially since the clothes and accessories are sometimes missing. It is a living dead doll, hot topic tragedy, goth girl, lip service exclusive, voodoo plush. Never heard of that. Sold for $39.98 plus shipping. All right, guys, here's mine. Um, I... I listed this during my live working hangout over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I was doing a bunch of plush. I still have another tote of plush over there that I'll probably list another night. Um, but basically what I do is I go live and I list and you guys can come hang out with me. It's over on this channel, reseller testing Bolo products. It's linked down in the description. So definitely come subscribe. Um, this plush has been sitting in my basement probably for a year or two. Um, I couldn't find comps, so I did a seven day auction nobody, um, I had offers that came in, but nobody ended up bidding on the asking price. So it ended without any bids. And I was like, I know it's a bolo. Too many people were sending me offers. So I priced it higher and it sold, um, really, really fast. I, I can't remember how quick it was. It was less than a week. Maybe it was a couple days, but I got an offer right away for $90. Hold on a second. Actually, I don't think I took an offer. I'm getting all confused. I don't think I took an offer. I think they just paid the buy it now price because I had it on sale. I put it on sale. That's what happened. And it sold for $90 plus shipping. It came from a garage sale. I bought like all their plush. So I probably had 50 cents, a dollar, maybe a quarter in it. Not much at all. But it's a Calico Critters plush. Loren Fisher cat stuffed animal. You guys, it's not very big. Super cool. Um, over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, I have a short video, a hashtag shorts that shows this. All right. Paid 50 cents at a local thrift. Sold for full asking price in about a week. It sold for $57.97. It's a Ya, or I'm sorry, Yo Gabba Gabba DJ Lance rock plush cartoon stuffed uh, PBS kids toy. This is an LA Kings hockey lion. Only sold for 20, but I bought the whole lot of Kings memorabilia for 15 at a Shop Goodwill auction. The lot had about 10 plushes, two travel mugs, 12 hat pins, all from Los Angeles Kings hockey team. Plush that are sports, <clears throat> excuse me, and team related and have official sports tags do okay if you get them cheap. Okay, so it sold for 20 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm guessing there was probably like 30, 32 in here. 
I just recorded today. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was in the group and people shared their Vero's, things that they've gotten suspended for on eBay or they've had the item removed because it um, was either counterfeit or on the Vero list. But sometimes you don't always get suspended by eBay. Sometimes you get a warning and they just remove the listing. But anyway, I popped up a post kind of like I do with this and I asked everybody to share their experiences and it, so many people shared. I did a three-part series today on that. And you guys, I learned so much from reading those comments. So stay tuned for those. Um, there may be one or two, or they may all be up by now. I don't know when I'm going to get this video up. I've got to get all the edits done and everything. So check for that. If it's not there, it should be coming soon. Thank you all so much for being here and for watching. And let me know in the comments what your favorite plush was that you learned about today. And drop me a hat emoji in the comments. Thanks for watching.